Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com and welcome to week seven of our 12 weeks of Halloween. And this week we're making this little treat wrap that unties with the bow here and opens up and inside is just the right size for one of your snack bags of M&Ms or Skittles or anything you can find right now uh, that's small like that for treats for Halloween. We're using the Spooky Fun stamp set and we are going to get started with our Simply Scored scoring tool. And I have a piece of basic gray cardstock cut at eight and a half by three. And we're going to do some simple scoring. And I'm gonna start off at one and a half and five and a half. And that's it. So we're gonna move the scoring tool out of the way and fold on these score lines just like that now we're going to thread the ribbon through here so i need to make some slits in these scored folds here and so i'm just going to take my paper snips and just cut a little slice out of that center you see right there the ribbon will be able to slip right through there and i'm going to do it again on the bottom And sometimes you don't cut enough, so I'm going to cut a little more in. You kind of make a little curve so that you have that opening there. And now I have a piece of smoky slate, 1 8 inch stitched ribbon. And I'm going to come up through this bottom opening, go through the center open part of the treat wrap, and then go through the top slit. This is about 15 inches. It just depends on how much you need to tie a bow, okay? So I have found that 15 inches is a pretty good length for that. And so I'm gonna get those even. And I, of course you would put the candy in here, but to finish the project first, I'm going to go ahead and tie this. And of course I don't have the candy because it would probably get eaten. So we're just going to pretend it has candy inside. And I'm gonna tie my bow. And we're going to be using a piece of the Halloween Night Designer Series paper. Let me get my bow right here and I'm sure I'll play with that a little bit more after I get through recording. Okay, there we go. And I'll probably trim some of those edges. That's a little long for me. So I'll do that in a minute. Right now, here is the two and three quarter inch square of the Halloween night paper. And that is going to be adhered right here on top. So I'm gonna take a little fast fuse. And let's just center that where we have that basic gray showing around the edge. Okay, so now I want to put something as a background for my stamped image. And I didn't have anything the color I wanted, so I wanted it to be in perfect plum. Well, I have these uh, in color doilies, and this is Cucumber Crush, but on the back side it's white. So I'm going to take my marker and get some scratch paper underneath it. I'm going to open up the brush tip side and I'm just gonna brush and color this white side of the doily. Now the center of this doily is going to be covered with a punched circle. So I don't have to really be concerned about the center. I'm mainly getting these, this edge with this die cuts that make it look really pretty like that doily. And this is just the right size for the front of this project good for smaller projects. And like I said, since the, white, the back is white, you could use the white, just the plain white on your projects or color them. And I chose to color this time instead of sponge. I wanted it pretty bold looking and I'm just going to go over it until I like how it looks. It's Halloween, so it can be kind of eerie and spooky and not real even. Okay, um, that's a little wet, so I'm gonna set that aside and let it dry. And then I have a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. 
and I have my pumpkin, pumpkin pie ink and I'm going to use the little moon stamp from that set and stamp it right here in the corner or close to that other edge anyway and then this is a one and a quarter inch circle punch it's a little bit smaller than the moon but it's going to work for what I need and now I'm going to take my stampin sponge and sponge around the edges This always makes your piece look a little bolder and stand out a little more from wherever the background is. Okay, so now I am going to take my little solid witch image and I'm using my Tuxedo Memento Black on this one. So I'm going to ink that up. I'm using my Stampin' Pierce mat below my stamping here because that helps give it a cushion beneath the photopolymer stamp. And I'm going to just center this little witch and get most of the brim on there and hold it down a bit. And then there you go. All right, so now let's see what we can do. I'm gonna take my doily here and that's going to go right there. So I'm gonna use a little fast fuse in the center there and just pop that right there. And now I can take the witch on the orange Halloween moon, put some adhesive and center that on that perfect plum doily. And now I'm going to use my Halloween night enamel dots and use a few as an accent here on the front and I like to use I'm going to use two up here in this corner and then another orange one down here in this corner okay let's put a sentiment on here I'm going to get that same piece of pumpkin pie and I have have some have some spooky fun that sentiment from the spooky fun set I'm going to adhere it to my block and use Memento Black again. Ink that up. Stamp. Then I'm going to grab my classic label punch and punch it out. Just going to center it a bit there. Now, I'm going to justify it over here to the left. Use some adhesive. Make a little, a little bit more than that. There we go. All right, put it down here. Just like that. Then I'm going to take some scissors and trim off the edge of the ribbon because, like I said, that was a little bit too long. Get my little bow loops like I like. Trim it. Okay, and there you go. An easy little treat that you can make for Halloween. Use them for handing out to your uh, little trick-or-treaters or for your children's or your grandchildren's class at school. I hope that will give you a tip for those kinds of treats. If you have any questions, let me know. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.